In this video, I want to cover some formulas associated with the nth order reaction. I do have another video on YouTube entitled Integrated Rate Loss. And in that video, I've covered the formulas associated with the zero order reaction, the first order reaction, and the second order reaction. But if you want to calculate the half-life for the nth order reaction, here is the formula. It's 1 over k times n minus 1, where n represents the order, k is the rate constant, and it's times 2 raised to the n minus 1 minus 1 divided by a initial raised to the n minus 1. So with this formula, we can calculate or we could get the formula for the half-life of a zero order reaction and even a second order reaction. However, it doesn't work for a first order reaction because if you plug in one here, you're going to get a zero in the denominator of a fraction and it will be undefined. So this formula doesn't work when n is one. So let's get the half-life equation when n is zero. In that integrated rate law video, here's the formula that I wrote down. It's a initial over 2k. We're going to try to get this formula using this one. By the way, for those of you who want to get a printout of all these formulas, uh, feel free to check out the formula sheet in the description section below. You're going to get these formulas plus additional formulas as well in that formula sheet. So for a zero order reaction, we're going to plug in zero for n. So we're going to have one over k zero minus one times two, zero minus one, which this will be negative one. And then a initial zero minus one, which is negative one. So here we have negative one times k, which we can write it as negative one over k. Two to the negative one, that's basically one half. So we have one half minus one, and then a initial to the negative one. So this is negative one over k. Now, one half minus one. Negative one, we can write that as two over two, which is still negative one. One over two minus two over two is negative one half. So we just have negative one half on top over a initial to the negative one. Now, these two negative signs will cancel. And we can write this as one fraction now. So this is one over two times k, and then one over a initial to the negative one is basically one over a initial. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by two a initial. So here, a initial will cancel and on top two will cancel. And we're gonna get the formula, a initial over 2k, which is what we have here. So that's how you can get the half-life for a zero order reaction using this formula. Now let's do the same for a second order reaction. If you look up the half-life formula for a second order reaction, this is what you're gonna find. It's one over K A initial. So for second order reaction, we're gonna plug in two for N. So it's gonna be one over K times two minus one times two raised to the two minus one minus one over A initial two minus one. So two minus one is one this will be one, so two to the first power is simply two. And then we have this negative one here. And for the exponent of a initial, two minus one is just one. So two minus one is one. 
we can combine this as a single fraction and here we have just k times a and so we get this formula so that's how you could determine the half-life for the zero order reaction the second order reaction and for other like even a third order reaction as well but third order reactions aren't very common though but if you need to find it you could just use that formula now let's talk about another formula this is going to be the integrated rate law formula for an nth order reaction and here it is it's one over a final raised to the n minus one which equals kt times n minus one plus one over a initial n minus one so when n is zero for a zero order reaction this is going to be zero minus one is just negative one this is going to be zero minus one and this two will be negative one now because this exponent is negative we could simply move a to the top and it's going to become positive one and the same is true for this so moving it to the top it simply becomes a final this is kt times negative one so negative kt and then this is just going to be plus a initial now, if you looked at the integrated rate law video that I have on YouTube, you'll see that this is indeed the integrated rate law for a zero order reaction. And again, you can find all those formulas in the formula sheet down below. I'm also going to post links to example problems on how you could use these formulas as well. Now for a second order reaction, and this simply two. So 2 minus 1 is just 1. This is going to be kt times 2 minus 1. And this is going to be 1 as well. And so we're going to get the second order integrated rate law, which is just 1 over a final, which equals kt plus 1 over a initial. Now the last useful formula that you can add to your notes is the formula for finding the units of the rate constant K. And the units for K, it's gonna be M raised to the one minus N T to the minus one. So for a zero order reaction, this is gonna be M to the first power T to the negative one, where T could be seconds, minutes, hours, days, some unit of time. When N is one, this will be well, this is one minus one is zero, so M is gonna disappear. This is just gonna be T to the minus one. For a second order reaction, it'll be M to the negative one, T to the minus one. For a third order reaction, it's M to the negative two, T to the minus one. And you can see the exponent of N constantly decreases by one for each additional order that you're dealing with. Now, there's another variant of this formula. Molarity is equal to moles over liters. So you can write it as moles to the first power times liters to the negative one. So in terms of moles and liters, this formula becomes moles to the one minus N times liters to the N minus one times T to the minus one. So for second order reaction, this is gonna be moles one minus two is negative one and then liters two minus one is just positive one and then t to the minus one for a zero order reaction it'll be moles to the first power which we can leave it as moles and then zero minus one is negative one so liters to the negative one t to the negative one so in terms of molarity and time this is the formula for the units of the rate constant k and in terms of moles and liters, which you may see on the test, you could use that formula. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you want that formula sheet, you can download it on my Patreon page. It's free for those of you who are interested in that. Uh, but once you sign up as a free member, you can access that formula sheet. So thanks again for watching, and I wish you well on your next exam.